Hello Aries, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, friends. How are you? Thank you for watching my fire family. Thanks for clicking here. I appreciate you. Look, we've got a couple of oracle decks we're using today. We're going to look at moonology because we're going to be talking about this hunter's uh, full moon, the super moon that happened on the 17th in your sign. And so uh, we're going to talk about the energies that might be surrounding that this week. So the energies of the full moon um, are and the Aries energies, right? Set to inspire us, make us courageous and for us to take chances, right? To unleash our inner, inner fire here. So, um, you know, that maybe you had, had put some things on the back burner that maybe it's time for you to sort of re-look at that and go for the things you want to achieve, your desires. And um, yeah, I feel like maybe this, this energy that we got here is blessing all of us with the ability to feel more courageous, more brave like Aries and maybe want to take maybe a little bit bit of a risk. Um, this moon was was uh, most prominent here for Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Let's find out what's going on for you, Aries, in the week ahead. So what sort of energies, what is inspiring you to happen in the week ahead? This full moon energy. Tell me about Aries, please. We do have, have faith in your dreams. Um, so it does feel like somebody here is probably about to take a risk to put something into effect, maybe something that you're trying to achieve, a desire, uh, desired achievement here. And it feels like you, you are supposed to stay the course here. Have faith in your dreams. And we do have step out of your comfort zone. I like it. The North Node. I am a North Node Aries. Very cool. So, um, the uh you're stepping out of your comfort zone here so it does really feel like this this moon here i feel has sort of sparked something within you aries and i feel like the thing that it has sparked within you is something that you've been putting off something that you have been sort of looking at in the distance i really want that i really want that um so it does feel like it is it is um you know, the North Node is about going forward into the future. It's your future self. It's what you're here for, what you're here to accomplish. So um, it does feel like you'll be stepping out of your comfort zone in the week ahead. Work through your fears, whether you're scared of it or not. I feel like it's it feels like a risk because it says work through your fears. And it, it says here, new moon in Scorpio. Um, I know that we were a full moon in Aries, but, um, you know, this this Scorpio influence is work through your fears. Do it anyway. Just just keep moving, moving in the right direction here. Tell me more about Aries. We're going to throw some tarot on this as soon as I get these other oracles down here. Aries, tell me about Aries, please. The moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aries. Oops. What do we have here? We have the soul. Ooh, it is something that has been really deep within you here. I love that the soul is next to the North Node. You might be an Aries North Node, possibly. Um, but we do have you stepping outside of your soul. Like it's it's outside of your comfort zone, it feels like. The soul is, it can be a comfort zone where you kind of are comfortable. You know what to expect. You know what's going to happen. I feel, it almost feels like you're taking, you're charging at something in the week ahead here. Passion. Oh, Charlie just said head, uh, heading towards something head down. Feels like you're about to headbutt something or break something. Yeah, feels like you're about to break through something. Um, so we've got passion here. Stepping out of your out of your comfort zone to go toward your passion. That's kind of what this moon was about, right? And so I feel like you... And, and, you know, it's just because it doesn't happen within three days of the full moon, it doesn't mean that that energy is still not with you or within you. I think it is. But I feel like it's almost like a, a delayed reaction a little bit that it feels like it's it's going to happen in the week ahead. We've got nourish. What are we nourishing? Gratitude and recording it. It's time for you to start writing it down. Maybe it's time to start a gratitude journal. Something is going to spark some sort of a light within you. It says illuminate. And uh, we do have ponder. It's going to cause you to think outside the box. That's what it feels like. All right, let's get some tarot. Let's talk about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Aries, if you're interested in joining us over in the membership area, or if you're interested in a private reading, please look below this video. It's always pinned in the comment below. A couple of links there. Tell me about Aries, please. Have faith in your dreams. It's coming up for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aries. We do have the Queen of Swords. It's time for you to say it. 
It's time for you to stand up for yourself to... Yeah, it's time for you to liberate yourself. Stop dreaming about it. It's time to do it. It's time to liberate yourself from your dreams and bring it into the 3D here. Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's being very honest with themselves and the other people around them in a very grounded sort of way. It's more, um, it's more assertive then it is aggressive when the queen is in the upright she doesn't mean to you know to mean to argue or fight or just stating facts is all it's time for you to, to be very uh, logical i think about having faith in your dreams here tell me about the soul it's in the soul please for aries we've got the the devil so really deep down, it feels like you have fear of following your north node, of going forward into your life, doing what you were what you were put here to do. And it feels like it, it gives you pause, I want to say, that it deep down in your soul, I feel like you're scared to do it. It feels like it feels like you need to journal. Like I was looking at the bottom of this deck, right? Now we've got the pen and the book here, and we do have to nourish gratitude with recording things and so it does feel like we've got a book here and a pen it almost feels like you're looking into your into your future through the soul energy but you're holding back because you're worried or you're in doubt or you have a little bit of fear and everybody has a little fear aries even you and um, it could be like what if it doesn't work out I want to go. I want to get it. It's part of my dreams. I got to liberate myself and be honest with myself. You know, I, I can't let fear hold me back. Tell me about uh, stepping out of your comfort zone. How are you going to step out of your comfort zone here, Aries? How are you going to step out of your comfort zone, Aries? I've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Pentacles. You're holding back from your passions in favor of stability. I feel like that's what, that's what the fear is, is if I take a risk, if I go out there and get the thing that I want, am I going to have to sacrifice my stability? Am I going to have to sacrifice my stability, my home? It feels like stepping out of your comfort zone i feel like your comfort zone is the queen of pentacles i feel like you know how to make money move money i feel like there's somebody here who's really good with their finances and you might even hide behind material things but it's time to step out from behind all of that and show people who you really are because you've been holding back your passions and look you're aries you're not going to be happy in this life if you continue to hold back your passion Um, tell me about the Queen of Swords, please. Have faith in your dreams. It's time to speak them out. It's time to liberate yourself here. It's time to do what it is that has been on your mind for a while. We have the Empress. Why do we have the Empress, please? We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Temperance card. I really do feel that you want to open a conversation with the Empress. I feel like it's part of the things that you see in the distance that you've wanted to do, but you're not sure when to do it. You're not sure when, when the time is going to be right. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that I feel like this Empress person is somebody who is in your life. It could be a mother, it could be an older sister or a brother. Take it as it resonates. The feminine energy is, is, is uh, you know, this is this empress's feminine leaning energy, but also has masculine energy. And so whether you're feminine or masculine, I feel like, I feel like the, if you could be the empress, but it really does feel like the empress is someone outside of you. It feels like this person is someone who's quite nurturing, very hardworking. This person does whatever they can to bring things to fruition. Um, I feel like this is somebody here that you admire, that you want to speak with, that you want to get balance with. This person is someone who's incredibly patient and they're a really hard worker. I feel like this is somebody that you've, that is in your past possibly. Tell me about the uh, Empress please and the Queen of Swords. Why do you want to talk to this person? We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Hanged Man. And the strength card, I feel like your stability, your 
your financial stability here has given you a different perspective on on the empress the empress is somebody who is the queen of pentacles they are somebody who is financially stable they are taking care of themselves and they are fine being single they're okay being by themselves it does feel like you have a different perspective on the empress and it feels as though maybe there has not been conversation between you and this person for a long while. It feels like possibly you two may have worked together. We do have seven pentacles and one in the hand of the king, which is eight. It feels like you could have worked together in the pentacle world, um, but it, that doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, it does feel like you are now in a different perspective. Um, I feel like you see that this person is quite abundant. They are abundant like you. It almost feels like this person might even be um, your mirror. Like It feels like two people who are leading their own lives separately from each other, but they're doing the same things. So maybe you both ended up being healing coaches, or maybe you both ended up working in the same business, but at different parts of the world. Or it, feels, it almost feels like parallel lives are being led, um, but we're really not speaking to each other. So I feel like you want to open conversation. You want to be honest and truthful, very assertive with this person. I feel like I feel like you want to um, I feel like you've been biting your tongue or holding back. And it almost feels like this could be a bit of an intimidating energy. And I don't think you're intimidated by much, Aries, but it feels like who you knew this person to be and who they are now are very different people. And maybe it's just a little bit intimidating that this person has grown and has uh, has had a glow up. And this person is also the Queen of Swords. So when you decide that you're going to open up communication with this person, they're going to be as honest with you as you are with them. It almost feels like we are the same. <laughs> it feels like two people are mirroring each other. That's what it feels like. It feels like there, there is energy going on here that is the same. Tell me about the, the devil and the soul, please. We have uh, the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Lovers. Hmm. Manipulation of passionate energy is what has led to heartbreak for you, Aries. Even, even though I feel that in your soul, you're very confident, you have been very confident. I don't, I don't know if you're in a relationship now or not, but it feels like that I get really confident in my soul about the lovers. And, but then I remember that the Three of Swords is here because I've been manipulated for my passionate energy before. I feel like um, that you feel that if you do reach out to the Empress, that the Empress might manipulate your passionate energy. And I feel like the Three of Swords and the Lovers is, it's like a reminder. It's something that's in your soul now that you never forget. That you've been manipulated and heartbroken before when you thought somebody was your actual match. So it does feel like somebody here is worried or has fear that you're going to be manipulated if you do sh bear your soul to the Empress. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and stepping outside of the comfort zone. The, com the, the, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is an overgiver. They love to take care of the home. They love to take care of people. They love to um, overgive. And uh, that might this might be stepping out of your comfort zone. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles, who is the Empress in training. The Empress is here. It might be someone who you need to step out of your comfort zone in order to communicate with. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Ten of Swords. And so you are stepping outside of your comfort zone because I do believe that there's been an ending with the Empress. Um, the Five of Wands is hesitation. And what if there's competition for this person? They're stable. They're financially stable. They've had a glow up. They're taking care of themselves. They don't need me. The Seven of Wands is here. And it does feel like you're um, 
you're ready to stand up for yourself and explain why the Ten of Swords happened. So it does feel like that there are a couple of people here who have been separate from each other because of some sort of a hard ending that happened between you. And it feels like you do want to communicate again with this person, but it feels like you don't know if there's competition. I'm not really sure what the competition is, but it feels like you're like, I don't want to go in unless I'm going to win. That sounds like Aries. That sounds like Emperor energy. I don't want to go in if I'm not going to win. Yeah, it does feel like going outside of the comfort zone is you reaching out to someone else. Because when a situation like this happens and we have a disagreement and we're not talking to each other and something has ended, you don't reach out. And I feel like you're going to have to go outside of your comfort zone if you want to connect with the Empress because the Empress will not chase. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles and passion here. It feels like you've been holding back your passions. I'm just going to say the Four of Pentacles, shut off, shut down, miserly with my time, my energy. Although stable, it's still miserly. I'm not getting anything by holding back my passions. We've got the Justice card. We've got the Hermit energy. And we have the Six of Swords. It's time to move forward, Aries. It is. It's time to move forward toward your passions. You have enough wisdom. I feel like you are... I feel like you are very much full of wisdom here. You've got the support of the universe. I feel like you found your light. It feels like this is a different level of understanding for you. Justice is here and it is the balancing of karma. It feels like this is, I feel like the wisdom that you have must now be put into play. You must move. You must, you must move forward toward your passions here. I feel like the Six of Swords is telling me that you, now that you're in this hermit energy, you're no longer chaotic with it, within the mind. You're no longer overthinking. You no longer, no longer have this chaos of the mind. It does feel like you now have stability. You know where you're going. And it feels like this would just be the chef's kiss like the it feels like it would be the karmic justice that you want is communicating with the empress now like the empress could be a mother the empress could be an older sister it doesn't have to be a love interest for you but it might be take it as it resonates for you bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands we have the six of pentacles and we have the eight of swords so it feels like you are in sort of two minds about this right we've got the eight of swords it feels like you're overthinking it feels feeling stuck i can't move forward my hands are tied i'm not really sure if i can do it, it feels like your intuition is sort of telling you to get out of the eight of swords energy and give this person some reciprocal energy but i feel like the nine of wands is telling me that you are the wounded warrior and you have been hurt this way before right where you thought that you were you honestly knew that the person that you were with was a soulmate. And I feel like your heart got broken because your passions were, in, were manipulated. You were manipulated through a new beginning. So I feel like this, um, I feel like this nine of wands and the ace of wands is telling me that you just need to drop your burdens and move forward and give this person reciprocal energy and maybe work on it. Cause I feel like there is a six of cups here. It feels like that there is um, energy here that tells me that this empress could be your soulmate or it could be a friend, like a, a friend that you haven't seen since forever. And you had a poor parting, a bad parting because of the 10 of swords, right? So I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I hope uh, I hope you had a beautiful full moon and that it brought you everything that you wanted. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.